Hello world, welcome to edupediaworld.com. In this video, we are going to cover some prominent types of high level languages where a high level language is a user friendly language much more closer to users own language that is English language easy to learn easy to adapt computer in contrast uses compilers debuggers or assemblers interpreters to translate these languages into its own code which simply is machine code so now let's have a look at some of the types of high level languages basic it is an acronym for beginners all purpose symbolic instruction code it belongs to a family of general purpose high level programming languages the design focuses on ease of use that is anybody can write a program without any background in science or mathematics so it is opposed to earlier computing languages which are meant only to be used by the technical users or users only with the background in science or maths can write a program major implementations of basic include quick basic the which is the origin of all modern basics as many games tutorials and calculators are built on it then comes free basic which is compiled with q basic has many more modern features such as pointers 64 byte types and support for larger amounts of memory then finally is the visual basic although its code is much different than the standard basic but is extremely popular for commercial use even nowadays then comes at the kabool language the name stands for common business oriented language it is imperative and procedural language where procedural or imperative programming is in which the program is built from one or more procedures which simply also are known as subroutines or functions and object oriented primarily used in business finance and administrative systems for companies and governments in 1997 the gartner group which is a famous american information technology research and advisory estimated that there were a total of 200 billion lines of cobol in existence which ran almost 80% of all the business programs so it is still widely used in legacy applications deployed on mainframe computers such as large scale batch and transaction processing jobs the major implementations include gnu cobol ibm cobol and visual cobol it has an english like syntax which was designed to be self documenting and highly readable uses over 300 reserved words or the words specifically to perform the particular functions or the specific functions like simply see the assignment operator x is equal to y which is assigning y's value to x this will be written in cobol simply as move y to x the scope terminators and dev and perform and read etc so very much english like syntax is there simply easy and adaptable for the users then comes fortran it stands for formula translating system it is again a general purpose imperative programming language which was originally developed for scientific and engineering applications it came to dominate this area of programming early on and has been in continuous use for over half a century 
it is the language used for programs that benchmark and rank the world's fastest supercomputers it first appeared in 1957 58 years ago then the most popular versions include fortran 77 fortran 90 Fortran 95 and the most recent one is Fortran 2008 which is released just 7 years ago Then comes C or C++ C is a general purpose structured programming language Structured programming language means every program written in C consists of one or more modules called functions one of the function must be called main the program will always begin by executing the main function which may access other functions afterwards so its instructions consist of terms that resemble algebraic expressions again augmented by certain english keywords such as if else for do and while etc it also contains certain additional features that allow it to be used at a lower level so thus this is the language which bridges the gap between machine language and other high level programming languages This flexibility allows C to be used for system programming that is for writing the operating systems and as well as for the application programming simultaneously that is for writing a program to bill customers etc it also encourages users to write additional library functions of their own thus the features and capabilities of the language can easily be extended by the user itself c++ is also just built upon c and hence all the standard c features are available within c++ the major implementations of it include ansi c borland c visual c and c++ Now comes the another important programming language SQL which stands for structured query language it is a special purpose programming language which is designed for managing data held in relational database management system where a relational database management system is a database model which is based on tables and columns and the database model which consists of tables and columns simply it is called a relational model so it is the most widely used database language scope of it includes data insertion query update and deletion major releases include sql 89 sql 99 sql 2006 then comes sql 2008 and the most recent version is sql 2011 thank you for watching video on edupediaworld.com